Have you seen Hidden Figures? If you have, you already know who this episode of Hall of Fame is about. Most notably, Vlogin worked for NASA as a mathematician and a human computer and was the first African-American supervisor of the West Area Computers at NACA, the predecessor of NASA. Vlogin was born September 20, 1910 in Kansas City, Missouri, but moved to Morgantown, West Virginia, where she would graduate high school in 1925 as valedictorian. She attended Wilberforce University with a full-ride scholarship, joining Alpha Kappa Alpha, and graduating in 1929 with a degree in math. She graduated cum laude and would become a math teacher and was seen as an elite. In 1932, she married Howard Vaughan and they moved to Newport News in Virginia where they had six children. And she was very devoted to her family and also to church, which will be important in her move to Hampton, Virginia, where her career would begin. After she graduated, she was encouraged to pursue a graduate degree, but she instead became a high school math teacher to help out her family during the Great Depression and taught for 14 years under the Jim Crow laws, meaning that Virginia's public schools and facilities were segregated. In 1943, Vaughan started her 28-year career as a mathematician and programmer at Langley Research Center and it kicked off during World War II. In 1941, two years earlier, President FDR issued Executive Order 8802, which desegregated the defense industry, and Executive Order 9346 to end racial discrimination and segregation in hiring and promoting workers in federal jobs. Because men had to serve in the war, federal agencies like NACA, the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, increased recruiting of women, including women of color. Okay, back to 1943, the Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory, a part of NECA, started hiring more black women to meet the need for processing aeronautical research data, including Vaughan. And she worked at the Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia, assigned to the West Area Computing Unit, which was segregated and only consisted of African Americans due to Jim Crow laws that required newly hired African Americans to work separately from white Americans. They also had to use separate facilities such as bathrooms and dining areas. West Computers made contributions to every area of research at Langley. Their work, which Vaughan thought was just a temporary war job, expanded into research and development for the U.S. space program under Kennedy. In 1949, Vaughan was made the acting head of West Area Computers, the first black supervisor at NASA and one of the only female supervisors, leading a group of African-American women mathematicians, eventually being promoted officially as a supervisor. She taught women programming languages and other computing concepts, seeing as the machine computer was going to be the future instead of human computing as she and her fellow workers had done before. In 1961, she moved into electronic computing after the first digital computers were introduced to NECA. She became extremely well versed in programming, teaching herself Fortran and also her coworkers. She worked on the Scout Launch Vehicle Program, a family of rockets that were designed to launch satellites around Earth, and continued to work at NASA after it was established, and segregated facilities like the West Computing Office were abolished and Vaughan and the members of it joined the Analysis and Computation Division, a racially and gender integrated group on the frontier of electronic computing. During her 28-year career at NACA and NASA, Vaughan continued to raise her six children and retired at 61 years old in 1971, and she passed away on November 10, 2008, at age 98. She is featured in Margot Lee Shadowley's Hidden Figures as well as the movie adaptation, and then in 2019 was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal, and she even has a crater named after her on the far side of the moon.